In D.C., they attack police with bottles, fireworks, and eggs. Keep in mind, this is not the far right, it's the left. Cops on motorcycles were pushed as they tried to pass through the crowd. Back in Charlottesville, an NBC News reporter was assaulted by a screaming progressive. Watch this. Amazingly, and it is amazing, NBC News didn't even bother to cover the assault on its own staff. The left did it, so it would have undermined their storyline. Screaming leftists in black face masks throwing bottles and calling for the destruction of America and the murder of the president. You know how CNN described this group? As, quote, anti-hate groups. Because their hate isn't really hate, it's the opposite of hate, even if it's exactly the same as hate. Pretty amusingly Orwellian, but also scary. Lying works over time, and that's exactly why they do it. Vox.com, in a rare fit of honesty, ran a piece entitled Antifa Clashes with Police and Journalists in Charlottesville and D.C., well, that was too close to the truth for many on the left, and they complained. HuffPo, for example, did. Its hate and extremism reporter Christopher Mathias tweeted this, quote, This is a bad article and is a good example of how not to cover white supremacy. A bad article. In other words, objective truth is bad when it obstructs the goal, which is gaining power. So lie or else, and most reporters do lie. But we don't have to lie. We can say what is obvious. The very people decrying fascism are the ones practicing fascism, crushing those who disagree with them, silencing contrary opinions, which they do constantly, threatening violence as they did yesterday. They can call it anti-hate all they want, but the truth is they would hurt you if they could. Mark Stein is an author and columnist. He guest hosted this program for three days last week and did a great job, and we're happy to have him back. So, Mark, you saw the video. Those, just so you know, those are anti-hate groups, the ones screaming... Right and throwing things. Yeah, and actually uh, threatening to kill people and uh, wearing masks and in fact having, as you said, having all the attributes not of anti-fascists but of fascists. And I'm one of those people uh, because when you look at them and you see like the little dweeby pajama boy types uh, uh, talking about wanting to kill people and it's easy to laugh it off uh, and say yeah, that they don't really mean it, they're not into it. But in fact, when you look at what has been going on, the increase in the level of targeted intimidation of people who just happen to have a political disagreement with them, uh, I think we are approaching the point at which someone is going to get killed over this. And uh, the media will play a large part in that, because when they say uh, that thugs on the street...